This is Renita Williams. She's a horticulturist with an interior landscape company, and she's graciously allowed us to look at one of her very own plants that she's grown herself. So how are you today, Renita? Good. Thank you. And your plant looks good, too. Well, thank you. Now, this is the ponytail palm, correct? That's correct. It's also, it's called a Brocarnia recravata. That's right, and although we do call it a palm, the fact is, is it's not a true palm. No, it's not. It's actually closer to a succulent plant. That's correct. As you can tell, if you look closely underneath it, the pot here, it has a bulb and it stores water in there. That's correct. You, um, the plant holds all its water in the bulb. Um, it has a very um, thick root system, which basically runs along the bottom of the pot. And it does take up and it stores everything in its bulb. Now, it's quite unusual to see a bulb in a plant above the soil, isn't it? That's correct. But this one likes to be the higher above the soil, the better it is. You'll eliminate rotting and you'll also have um, rooms for offsprings to come out of the bulb. Oh, I see. So if somebody buys one of these and you decide to repot it, make sure you don't cover up that bulb. Anyway, they can grow to be quite attractive and unusual specimens. That's correct. Um, honestly, the smaller the pot with the less soil, the better plants you'll have because you'll have less water capacity to hold. Oh, I see. Now, how long have you had this plant? I've had this for um, one year, and in that year, it's grown from this height here. So I have about a foot of growth in a year. It has wonderful new growth here. It's quite prolific. Thank you. So how do you take care of it? Now, where do you keep it as far as light? Well, I keep it in a sun window, in the middle of the window, um, where it gets sun all day long. It's in the south. Um, I give it a quart of water um, when I do water it. This one, it's been watered now three weeks ago. Now is the time to water it. Okay, now how do you decide that it needs water? Well, first I'll fill my top soil and then I'll see if it's really hard. I'll see if it's pulled away from the pot, which will let you know that it's taking all the moisture out of the soil at that time before I put more back in. Um, you can also feel your bulb, and if the bulb feels quite a little bit soft, you'll feel some movement, you know, some texture into the bulb, mm -hmm. then you can tell that it's ready for water. Oh, so I see. If you look at this, if you can see it a little closely, um, around the edge of the pots here, it's just starting to give away the soil right, from the right. edge of the pot. And the bulb is a little bit soft. You're mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's been three so, weeks. Yeah, it's definitely ready then. Yep. <laughs> now, do you ever fertilize this guy? Well, in the summertime, I'll fertilize it once a, week, once a month in the summertime. Mm -hmm. In the wintertime, as long as it's actively growing, which are coming out of the top with more new growth, then I will put it on a fertilizing program maybe once every three months. You don't want to over-fertilize in the wintertime. I see. Now, you told me that this is a good plant for people that have children. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> it, it has a very rough leaf edge, and they won't bother it. <laughs> they don't pick on this one. And you don't have to fuss with it very often either. No, this is a very low-maintenance plant. You water it, you let the water run through to the bottom, and that's it. There's no more to do with it besides dusting it. And how do you dust it? When I dust it, I just take the uh, leaf my fingers and I just you know pull the dust off like this or you can just use a feather duster oh okay and that's about it mm-hmm well that's great well it seems to be doing just fine thank you and I really appreciate you bringing one of your own plants on the show and I hope you'll come back another time sure and show us another one of yours sure so thanks thank you mm -hmm.